Hey you guys, welcome to a new episode of Food and a Single Guy with me, your very own Amaru. Now this is the final episode of Food and a Single Guy of season 11. I am going on a summer hiatus, as I always do on this channel, and hopefully I will be back in the second week of September to dazzle you with new videos. Now we are going to close the season with a bang hopefully because i will be showing you how i cook curried duck i have never cooked duck on this channel before and i've received a truckload of requests show us how to cook duck do us a duck recipe do so i'm like all right fine so i went to the store i purchased all the ingredients and um, I decided to do you a video, all right? Now, I'm gonna post all the ingredients in the information box below the video for your convenience. So without further ado, let us continue. Okay, beautiful people, so this is my duck. And I purchased this at the Chinese supermarket in the frozen food section. And I allowed it to thaw. And next what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wash the meat. And if you've been on my channel long enough, you know how that goes. And if you're new to my channel, I'm gonna show you in the next clip how I do that. All right, let's continue. So first we're going to rinse the meat. And next we're going to squeeze the juice of two lemons. Just like so. And of course, you're gonna give this a quick stir. And next, what you're gonna do, you're gonna allow the duck to sit in this water for about five to 10 minutes, and then you're gonna rinse it thoroughly. So it's been about seven minutes, and I am now rinsing the duck thoroughly. There we go. All right, people. So next, I am going to pour the duck into this colander. And I'm going to allow it to drain completely. All right. There we go. Okay, you guys, moving on to the seasoning. I will be seasoning my duck with some crushed black pepper. And what I have here is the paste of a large onion and four cloves of garlic. And as you can see, it's a lot, but we're not going to use all of it. We're going to use half. All right. Here we go. And now I'm going to give it a good stir. There we go. This is looking good. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover this with some aluminum foil and I'm going to allow this to marinate overnight. All right? All right. Okay, you guys. So it's been about 24 hours. Let's have a look at our duck. Ooh, honey. This is looking good. It is smelling good. Mm. So next what I'm going to do, I am going to brown the meat and in the next clip I'm going to show you how I do that. Alright, let's continue. Now you guys, I'm going to brown the duck in some liquid butter, just a little bit, not too much. And if you want to use some oil, feel free to do so, but be mindful of the amount of oil that you use because duck in itself is a very fatty bird. Alright? Now, when I told you that the duck smells delicious, with duck you really want to season it very, very well because it has a very gamey scent, okay? And that is why we use lemons or limes or vinegar or even some salt to clean the meat with because nobody likes a nasty aftertaste, okay? And duck can have a very hmm, not so pleasant aftertaste, okay? So with all the seasonings that I've added, the smell is delicious, all right? Now let's continue. Now I'm gonna turn on my cooker hood. You know how that goes, it makes a lot of noise. I am now going to add the butter.
and for optimal results you want to brown the duck on medium heat all right You simply want to add some color to the meat. You're not going to cook them all the way through. And you have to time this yourself. So anywhere between two to three minutes per side, I think would be sufficient. See, that's what I'm talking about. Just a slight golden brown color. See? This is what I'm talking about. Nothing too fancy schmancy. You simply want to add some color to the meat, okay? Now, what I have here in my bowl are various kinds of masala, and I'm going to show you what they look like because all three of them have a different shade, okay? Now, let me show you. And these were a gift from my cousin who visited me back in 2019. She brought a truckload of spices and herbs and goodness. And um, these are the masalas that she brought me. And as you can see, this one, for instance, has a greener hue as opposed to this one or this one. See? And I hope the camera picks up the color. So I think I'm going to use this one and this one. Yeah, I'm going to combine them. So for this amount of meat, which is about a kilogram, I am going to use four tablespoons of the masala. Now you guys, as you can see, there's still some oil left in the pan. We're going to heat this and then we are going to add the masala to it. And in the same pan, we are going to stew the duck. Fear not, all of this goodness on the side is going to add flavor to your duck. All right, now let me go ahead and turn on the cooker hood yet again. There we go. So let's add the masala. And give it a good stir. And remember, don't cook this on high heat. Stir continuously for about a minute. And then you're going to add the duck. There we go. Now you want to coat the duck on both sides with the masala. Just like so. And next you're going to add about 500 milliliters of water. Give it a gentle stir. Just like so. And next you're going to cover the pot. You're going to allow the duck to simmer on low to medium heat for about a half an hour to 45 minutes. So it's been about half an hour. Let's check on the duck. Ooh, honey. It is looking good. It is smelling good. Mm, mm, mm. Now let's flip these ever so gently. There we go. Now let me show you this sauce. You see how rich and thick it is? Yeah, baby. Now you guys, if you're going to cook duck this way, you want to take your time doing that because duck it's not necessarily a tender meat. It needs a lot of cooking, okay? Now, let me see how tender this meat is. Yeah, I can tell that it needs more cooking. So what we're gonna do next, we are going to season the duck. And you can season your duck with some salt, but I like to season my food with a chicken stock cube. That is the way we do things in my country. We're going to give it a quick stir. And the stock cube will add flavor to your food. And you know me, I'm big on flavorful food. And you can always adjust the taste by adding another stock cube or 
just a pinch of salt if you so desire. So next what I'm going to add is this pepper. It is called ajuma and I'm going to add the ajuma right here in the middle. I'm going to cover the pan and I'm going to allow the duck to tenderize in another half an hour to 45 minutes. And when it's all done, of course, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Now you guys, before we move on to the final presentation, I just have to show you how green this curry really is. It is a beautiful sight to behold. And I will also show you how succulent and how tender the meat is. I hope the camera will pick up the color. See? Isn't that gorgeous? And I had to put the meat on a clear plate, a white plate. And um, I am going to cut into the meat right now to show you how succulent the meat is. Look. See? It just falls off of the bone. See? And this is what you need. This is what you need. This is what we're talking about. Oh, honey, listen. I'm simply going to taste it. It is delicious. Mm. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. See? It is very tender. Honey, you have no clue. And this is what I'm talking about. You have to take your time cooking duck this way. If you don't cook it this way, it is not going to be tender. And like I said earlier, duck is not necessarily a tender meat. It takes a lot of time to cook it and to get it this tender. All right? So keep that in mind. And um, I think it's time to move on to the final presentation. Yeah. Where's my colander? I need to put my dick in a, my duck in a colander, my gosh. My duck in a colander, my goodness. And just so you know, I allowed the duck to simmer on low to medium heat for about an hour. And as I said earlier, you need to take your time to cook duck this way. Otherwise, it's not going to be tender. It's going to be very tough. And that is not what you want. Now, I hope you like the final presentation. Lord knows I do. And as you've seen in the previous clip, the meat was very, very tender and very succulent. And of course, you're free to serve this with whatever you like. With rice, with naan, with roti, with potatoes, with whatever you like all right now if you decide to try my curry duck recipe let me know how it turned out because I'm always interested in hearing from you I would like to take this time to thank you for watching I would like to wish you a happy summer be safe be happy be merry be kind to one another don't add crazy to the craziness and until we see each other again in September have a good one you guys thank you thank you thank you bye